Okay, this is Winter Horses Farm, and we're going to play a little game called, is this a male or a female? And I will zoom in on one of these chicks and uh, give you a couple seconds, and then I'll tell you what it is, and you can see if you're right or wrong. Okay, we will start with the oldest ones. Um, this little uh, silky showgirl, and keep in mind that showgirl means that it does, it, um, watch out baby. It, uh, it, it has a naked neck gene. It has one of the, uh, one of the alleles, um, because there's a little poof right there. If it had two, it would be called a stripper. So they're called showgirls, even if it's a male. Um, and, uh, actually the correct term would be a naked neck silky or a silky naked neck. Um, showgirls is just a rep, uh, breed pet name if you want, um, if you will. So this one right here is about five months old. Um, it's almost completely mature. But with silkies, I will give you the caveat that with silkies, I swear, they can literally, it seems sometimes you think it's a female for so long, like four months, even five months sometimes, and then literally overnight, I swear there was one that went overnight, turned it, it turned, quote unquote, into a male. Um, so just wanted to point that out for all of you trying to sex your silkies. Uh, yeah, don't count your don't count your females and males until they've actually crowed or laid an egg sometimes. Um, so there's this one right here. What do you think it is? You see your little face. Okay, this is a female, and I'm pretty sure it's a female. Um, the way I can tell is for females they have a ball. Their head is a ball. Um, for males they have these little streamers. These little shiny silver streamers uh not silver uh, shiny longer streamers that come out of their heads so they'll be just like kind of poking out this way and that way and sometimes the older ones will even kind of it'll almost be like a little bob like if your hair was cut in a bob it kind of just hangs down um and uh also i don't know if you can see right here but the comb it stays pretty small until <laughs> so you can't even see her comb, which is actually a good thing to another indicator for a female because males combs will usually pop right out But females combs generally tend to stay small and they gen they should stay dark darker until They get close to maturity. So then they'll turn depending on how dark your, your the skin is of your female or of your males and females It'll turn darker um, For the ones that have really dark skin, but it should turn like a mulberry as a uh, the females get closer to maturity, right before maturity, right before they lay. Males will get mulberry early. So if you've got a chick that's like four weeks old, six weeks old, and it's got like a big old fat red, we call them wall, it's a walnut comb, you know, ball comb on their heads, and it's it's starting to get like purplish red, that, that's a male. All right, this one right here, it's a barn of elder. Um, maybe the, I wanna say maybe what? Three months old, about three months old, maybe. Um, 12 weeks, 14 weeks, something like that. Okay, what do you think it is? Okay, this is definitely a female. Uh, it was actually, I bought it, or <laughs> I kept it. It was uh, from Meyer Hatchery. I was gonna sell it, um, a bunch of them. And uh, this one, I just, I don't know, I just, I, they're pretty. So I just kind of wanted one for the backyard to run around. But that is a female. Um, not only was it sex as a female, which they're about 90%, right, usually. Um, but being about three we, uh, three months old or so, it's right about at maturity. So uh, you can start looking for the shiny uh, feathers in the back, the what we would call saddle feathers in a male and cushion feathers in a female right at the base of the tail. Uh, a female will have rounded feathers um, at 12 weeks. That's when the males, most males, will start to get the little pointy shiny feathers in. Um, they might still be really small. They might, um, you, you know, it might be more difficult to tell for some of the slower developing breeds. Some of the faster ones like leghorns may come in even earlier, but be careful not to look for saddle um, feathers, pointed saddle feathers at like eight weeks and say, oh, there's no feathers, it, you know, no pointed feathers, it's definitely a girl. Because, as I, as I said a lot of times, it would be like looking for a mustache on a first grader. You're like, oh, it doesn't have a mustache, it must be a female. Well, obviously that's not correct. So, um, yes, but this is definitely a female. She has the rounded feathers. Oh my goodness, girl. And you can see that she has very little comb and a waddle development for three months. Um, and it's still pretty, um, 
pale. It's like a pale pink, not a dark red. Uh, male Barnevelders by this time will almost certainly have like a bigger comb, you know, like a bigger comb, and it'll be redder, they'll have more waddles. Okay, let's get to some of these um, random chicks here. Okay, let's start right to left. Okay, so here's one right there. Um, what do you think it is? If you said cockerel, you're right. Uh, when you have a straight comb, that means it's like straight in a row, you know, kind of like the Kellogg's bird. Uh, straight combs are probably the easiest to sex um, chicks because the comb usually tells the entire story. Uh, that's pretty much all you want to look at for your main factor to decide if it's male or female. You want to start with the comb up until about like four to six weeks. And then that's when they start, you know, they start entering that okay, now the males really start uh, looking different than the females. Sometimes earlier, sometimes later, but yeah. Um, so that is definitely a male because of the huge pink um, comb and waddle. I'm not even gonna mention any more because it's so clearly a male, I'm not even gonna go anymore. Okay, let's go to this one back here. All right, I think it's a male or female. Actually, you know what, I, don't, I haven't even looked yet. Are you a male or female? Okay, because I know my birds, um, I'm going to say that this is a female. However, I've been fooled before with, with these guys have um, a fibro gene in them. This one doesn't, but it did once upon a time. Uh, so that line is sometimes super tricky. Like I swear another, like the silky, I, I thought it had like a small comb. It was very flat. It wasn't red for up until four months when I thought it was a male. Um, or female, and then it overnight again, um, you know, a couple days, it's like, oh wait, you're a really a boy. Um, but this looks like a female to me so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like 75% sure, 80% uh, sure. Now, see the little dark red on the wings there? That's autosomal red. Um, and usually, usually that it's only on the males. If it's gonna be, if it's really strong on the males, or sometimes if, you know, on some breeds you won't see it at all um, on the females and there'll be a little bit on the males and that's kind of a clue so sometimes you can use the auto autosomal red like it's a little called the wing band that little um, red right here <laughs> I got your head I got your head just kidding um, yeah so sometimes you can use that as a clue but again we're you know looking at the uh, let's see if I can get a good picture of the comb here you know, see how it's it's not dark red yet like I said these guys are I think around six weeks or so six to seven weeks yeah six weeks no more than that I don't think um, but it's still kind of small sometimes you can use pea combs um, you can look at what they're called the number of peas little little bumps um, a general rule especially in the purebreds especially in the purebreds is that a female usually has a single row of peas like like boop 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 and the males have like three rows like boop 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 boop, boop. so it's males are usually wider um in in mixed breeds especially ones that have been mixed with a single comb it's that's not always the rule um or the rule can be broken but in this case it, this one looks like it it sort of has maybe two um so it's sort of that that wouldn't be a definitive you know big fat this is like sort of yeah middle of the road that almost looks like one um can't really get closer without spooking it. Hey. Come on, baby. You get that? It's like it's like three, like a big one in the middle, a big row, and then two teeny rows on the sides. Um, that um, I would say that's female, but I wouldn't be like okay, 100%. So again, with that one, 70%, 80% sure it's a female, but I'm not gonna say oh yeah, 100%. Okay, how about this one right here? It's some sort of lavender mix. Um, actually, I know it's a uh, light bar mix. I have some opal light bars, so this is a mix. These are all chicks from my, they're all mixed um, from my backyard layer flock. They just kind of do their own thing. Um, so yeah, uh, you, I think you got a shot of the comb. Uh, or you can see it for a second. What do you think this is? I am 95% sure it's a female. Um, let me see, where are you, baby? I think it does have a, who's a pea comb? Um, it is a pea comb, but it's so, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks more like a V. Males will look more like a, like I say, a landscape pin, like a upside down U. Females with the single rows will more, 
you know, more often look like a V shape with the, the top of the V. See that V shape? Um, and it's it's kind of dark. Like if this were a slow developing male, it could be this pink at six weeks, um, or it could be a faster developing female, which is um, leg bar has like horn in it, way in its background. Like horns are fast developers. So um, this girl is developing a little bit quickly um, in, you know, to the average. So yeah, that's a female. Um, no other, you know, she doesn't have like the huge legs that might indicate a man. <laughs> Look at the way, goofball. Um, yeah, so her legs aren't hugely thick. They're not hugely long. She doesn't have anything that stands out as a male. So like I said, 95% sure it's a female. Um, males are always easier to tell. Like if you know at four weeks it's a male, like it's, you can be like, okay, I'm 100% sure that's a male. No question. Um, all right, what about this one right here? It's a, looks like it's a blue with a little bit of, yeah. It's, so it's probably like blue with the, the ER gene, the Virgin gene, because it's got a little bit of um, gold around it, gold slash copper around its neck. Um, what do we think this is? See if we can get a side, no, yeah, be cooperative. All right. Again, I'm going to say I am, this one, not 100% sure, or not 95% sure, I'm 90% sure, so just slightly less sure about this one, but again, it's got, it's sort of got the same thing where the comb is a little more U-shaped than the other, but it's not hugely pink, um, wattle grows, well, again, see all these things you have to learn about breeds, right, so for Amer this got Americana in it, which is probably where it got part uh, where it got that um, pea comb. But if they have muffs, um, Americanas don't uh, develop wattles, right? So, uh, or they shouldn't. So, if they have muffs, you can't use wattles um, as an indicator. Sometimes they'll have a little bit of throw across, uh, but in this case, you can't use wattles really as an indicator of male or females because you know. It, they might not have it. So for this one with the with the little bit of a beard and muff, um, yeah, you can't use the bottles. But everything else, um, again, uh, if you got a chance, oh yeah, see the legs aren't hugely thick or long. Um, and also with females too, you see how the the under fluff, the part that the feathers that join to the leg, the females oftentimes. Again, it's a general thing. There's always rule breakers. The females will often have, oh, look at this one. The feathers will go right above, or sometimes even like if it's bending down below the um, the hock joint, uh, if you want to call it that. The, or the you know, yeah, the backwards knee, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really actually it's an ankle joint in a human, but we won't go there. Uh, it's the same as, but yeah. So um, males. Let's see if I can find a male that shows this, not all the time, but um, males will either have less, uh, as especially as they get older. This one, yeah, these guys really uh, aren't good, especially this is part Moran's, because of that leg feathering, so it's like, it's gonna have feathers down his leg anyway, so that's not the best example, but um, yeah. All right, so we've done that and that. Actually, let's look at this one, we haven't done this one yet. I already said it was a male. It's, it's actually pretty much like a, just like this one, you know, with the, the single barring. Um, oh, since we're talking about barring, um, it's a sex link gene. So um, that means that it's on the, uh, what is it? I want to say W chromosome? Oh man, I can't remember my, my chromosome. I, w, uh, w and X, or uh, W and Z. Uh, I can't remember. I'm not even going to try and remember which one. Um, uh, humans have X, Y. Birds have W and Z. I can't remember which one is which. That's embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, males, it's flipped from a human. Males have two copies of the same um, gene and females have one. So the barring gene, it sort of is an additive type thing where if you have, if you're a female and you can only have one gene, um, then you'll have a sing what we call a single barring. Um, da, 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 da. They will always have a single barring. They can never have a double barring. Um, so it'll look more gray overall, like a darker gray. Um, males can have either one or two. If they have two, 
they will have like what we call double barred, which means the white band on them is thicker. So it'll look more white or lighter gray overall if you just stand back um, and look at it. Now, <laughs> again, there, there's always exceptions. Sometimes females will have a really wide bar, a single wide bar, and males will have two small double bars, so they almost look exactly alike. So that's why there, there are very few things that you can say, oh, 100%, because it's that way, it's a male. The comb, the really big comb is one of them. So just so you know there, that. Um, and I don't think any of mine, uh, none of these are double, um, these are all single barred fellas. Uh, because they're mixes. Uh, if, I, if I mated, you know, the, the uh, barred rock breed, say, if there was a purebred, then males will definitely have the uh, double barring because they're purebred. These guys are mixed, so, you know, I might have been a, a barred mom and a solid dad or whatever. Um, okay, let's see what else have we not done yet. Um, uh, okay, uh, oh, this one right here. Here. Okay, what do you think this one is? This little black one. Let's see if I can get it. Watch your butt. All right, what do you think that one is, male or female? I'll give you a nice shot of the head there. Um, let me see. There are the legs. So, what do you think? Okay, I am, I'm gonna say 75%, 80% sure it's a female. Uh, Another thing that it's like there's so many factors that you have to kind of add together. It's like a calculus to make your decision. So if you have a bunch of males together, okay, there will usually be more dominant males and less dominant males. And the dominant males usually have a bigger comb and a redder comb. So sometimes if you have a, you know, a less dominant male, you know, one that's at the end of the pecking order when it comes to males, um, they will have a small pale pink comb that could look exactly like a fast growing female at, a, at certain ages. So like from zero to eight, even for some of the really slow, like an Orpington, some of those can look exactly like females with their combs up till 12 weeks because they are at the you know bottom of the pecking order. And so they are very, they don't have all the testosterone rushing through them that, uh, you know, uh, will differentiate them as, yes, you're definitely a boy, like, like that one. Um, but in this case, uh, it's small enough at six weeks, six to seven weeks that, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a female. In fact, you know, I'm even going to say I'm, I'm 90% sure just because there's nothing else. It's got pretty skinny legs. Um, it doesn't act like a jerk, which you wouldn't know because you haven't washed them for a long time, but it doesn't act like a jerk or like fight with others. That's, you can, you can sometimes use, I know that's like, this is long because there's so much info to take into account. You can sometimes use the, the behavior as an indicator. Like if you see two of them going at each other and jumping up and down, 80%, 90% of the time, those are two males. However, again, there's always an exception. You know, a really dominant female may go after, say, a low-ranking male when they're this young. Um, or females will go against females. That's that's much more common than male and female um, in, in uh, at this age if they're all raised together. It's a different story when you're raised apart and you've got older ones, like an older female versus a younger male. Usually, those older females will tell those little boys where they can go and they'll kick their butts. But um, yeah. Uh, you know what? I, let me see. Okay, that's the peak home one. Oh, that's an interesting one, actually. Okay, so did I say that one yet? Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that black one there is a female. All right, this one right here. All right, let's get a look at that. Oh, come back here. It's not the same one. It's not the one with the, um, the one we already did with the uh, peak home. This one's got a straight comb. Uh, it's also got Moran's in it for sure because I can see some feathers on those legs. Uh, okay, so you can see the comb, and it looks like it also has a bit of, the, like, at least a single birch and gene, probably just a single birch and gene, um, that gives it not a whole lot of, um, I'm not even going to get into that, never mind. <laughs> I was going to talk about the amount of, uh, color around their necks, but, you know, that's, that's a whole different, different <laughs> episode. Um, so what do you think, male or female? Six weeks. I'm gonna go with male here. 
because um, even though it's not is his uh, his uh, comb isn't as pink as dark as say that one and it's not as big as that one this is probably one of the situations where it is a it's a lower ranking male and you also have to take into the account because I again I know about breeds I know Moran's they tend to be a little bit more slower they're big birds um, just like Orpingtons, they on average develop more slowly. They take their time. Um, so, uh, you know, the, like when you compare it to the other one here, the that one right there, it's got the leghorn, faster developer. So again, take all those into account. So that one's a male, almost 90% sure. Another thing too, that you can sometimes use, it's, pr it's a pretty good um, indicator. Okay, so, got to kind of really get a good shot to tell the curve of the comb if it's curved that's a pretty good indicator of a male especially as they get older um, in most uh, of a straight comb in most breeds so many um you know exceptions to that but uh there you poked his head up just a second um but if the top of the coat like you look at it from the side and the comb is sort of curved it could be just the slightest curve and something and it often also comes down further on their beak. Um, oh, I just missed it. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, again, here's the, where's one, that other male? Um, so it's, it's curved. And you can't always use that because, you know, this one right here, which I'm pretty sure is a female that I said, um, it's got a bit of a curve too. However, the comb doesn't come down quite as far on the on the beak that the others do uh, like that one comes down you can see that uh, that one comes down almost halfway down the beak this one where are you <laughs> okay it's kind of hard to do this because I'm like my hands are at a weird angle and I'm trying to look at the screen at the same time where, where, where are we no, move, move. Maybe I should just grab them and <laughs> that'd probably be better um, but sometimes it is good to see move around uh, oh, where are we Anyway, this one, trust me on this one, it does have a, a, a slight curve, you know, if you want to go back in the video and, and see if you can find a good shot of it at the side, um, you'll see that it does have a slight curve, uh, so, but I do think it's a female, so again, you know, it's, it's one of the indicators that you can use, but it's not a sure thing. Um, okay, I think I had one more that I wanted to do, I think that's the last one, and it is, did I do this one yet? I think I did that one, right? No, I did not. I did not do this one. Okay, we did this one right here because, uh, yeah, we did that one and we said it's probably a female. You know, on second look, I don't know. Um, hmm. On second look, I'm in, yeah, I'm maybe 60% sure it's a female. I, I gotta wait a little bit more on that. Um, okay, what about this one right here? Let's see, there's the head. It's also got a pea comb. Um, in fact, let me see if I can get closer to that pea comb without startling it. Okay. Oh, come on. You're not helping. Okay. But that was the comb. This is a side view of it. You think male or female? Okay. Um, I'm going to go, I'm sure this is female. I'm just going to say it right now. It's got a single uh, row of peas there. It's, it's very small, it's very narrow, it's very small um, comb, and uh, it's still dark. It hasn't even turned, it doesn't even have a little bit of red. There's no autosomal red on the wings. Um, and also, this isn't always an indicator when they're younger, but as they grow older. See this little like, it's called stippling, sort of like little dots, kind of like it's, you know, static or whatever on their wings. Um, in, in nature, you know, females are usually patterned on the top and less plain on the bottom, uh, or more plain, you know, maybe more solid. Um, the ones that are closer to what we call wild type. So they're, they're, they don't have a lot of mutations or just, you know, what chickens developed from a long time ago, the, the same general pattern. So females, um, they're closer to the wild type. They will have, um, they have that like sort of, usually they have that little stippling, little dots, uh, to kind of help them blend in. So if, you know, if it's, if they're starting to get some, like the baby 
baby feathers have grown out. Um, it's starting to get bigger feathers and you see that sort of stippling there all over the top. It's another indicator that it, it can be. This one over here has stippling. However, as I'm looking closer at it and you're looking, see, see how, um, no, that's actually under fluff, but it, it may be growing out a little bit. So like as a chick, it would have that stippling because yeah, we want the chicks to blend in. But of course, males, they sort of want to stand out and say, you know, hey, chicks, look at me, <laughs> or not chicks in this case, but hey, ladies, look at me, you know, I'm standing out and I'm so awesome at surviving that I can stand out and still live and, you know, get away from, keep away from predators. So this one, like I said, I'm still leaning towards female. Could be a dominant female because of the size or it could just be a breed thing but I'm not 100% because of a few things. Like I said, the, um, the autosomal red and it's kind of a bigger comb and it's uh, not dark or it's not dark red yet. It's not light, it doesn't start to turn purple yet. So this one will have to give it uh, maybe two more weeks or so. And the last one is, did we do this one? We, yes, I think, okay. Uh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> but okay, this one right here, if we didn't do it already, what is that one? That's a male. I mean, look at that huge red thing. This one right here, actually, I don't think we did this one because it has a pea comb. Um, but uh, this is a male. Uh, if It's not hugely red, but then again, pea combs can take a little bit longer to get red sometimes. Um, but it's really thick. It's a, uh, a, it's a wide pea comb. It's, uh, so it's definitely got the three rows. Uh, I wish I could get in close enough to see that, but, um, and, oh, where'd you go? Hey, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, let me see. I could grab it, but, yeah. So, yeah, that one, that was a male. Um, yeah, I'm 95% sure. Ah, I got weight. Um, it's also, well, see, again, because you can't always tell for sure, those legs look pretty thin. So you're like, oh, it must be a female because of the thin legs. You can only use that as just one factor into the whole formula. So I think that's it. All right. And you know what? I think I'll make another post, I don't know, maybe in two weeks. And uh, it'll be much shorter. And we'll talk about, we'll see if some of these these little sort of, ah, eh, kind of on the fence ones, uh, where I'm not 100% sure, I'm not 90% sure. You know, we'll see if they've developed any more that we can be more sure. So I hope that helps. Um, if you've got those, they're about six to eight weeks or so, and then the, the, the older ones, um, older ones are easier, but uh, silkies are always hard. So yeah. there's so many factors. Like I said, I will keep saying that over and over because yeah, you gotta know a lot about breeds and about their developments and in order to have a really good, uh, in order to make a really good guess slash judgment slash, you know, hypothesis or whatever so yeah these are the babies hi babies hi they also say oh by the way they also say often that you know a male will be less um you know they'll uh males will be uh more courageous and less likely to but that's a female right there and it's not all you know you know i just put my finger in poop <laughs> it's not always true it's one of those things where, you know, it, like with people, you know, you've got shy males, you've got shy females, maybe on the whole because of the testosterone, on the whole average, males are slightly more, they're more, you know, on average. But again, it's one thing out of, one factor out of many, so you have to take it all to the picture.